All right, well, I am in a place called Birdsboro Waters or Birdsboro Preserve near Birdsboro, PA. And I was just, uh, this morning I was at French Creek State Park exploring the Six Penny area. Six Penny, yeah, Six Penny Water Park. And I was gonna do some hiking in this area because I'd seen it online a couple of times. Um, I tried to park at the south entrance, but that there was like a gun club down there and they were shooting and stuff and the trail went right in the direction they were shooting. So I was like, you know, I don't think so. So I came to the north entrance, which is actually in Birdsboro here in Brooks County. And there's a lot of, there's some quarries back here. There's a lot of rock climbing going on there today. I guess they call it orienteering. Some neat guy gave me a much better map. The one I printed out offline was pretty much garbage. So, anyway, he went off that way, but I saw this cool old building here. Totally graffitiized, but let's check this out while we're here. Yeah, I don't really know anything about it. Happy to be whatever here. Don't know if there's a way to get in or not. Oh yeah, the, it's kind of weird door lock on here. Yeah, me to find a way. There's a basement down there. Yeah, there was, it says candy, point down to the basement. Did bring my flashlight. I don't know if we can find a way in here or not. Be a cool place to explore. There's a lawnmower in there. All right, we'll see what we can find here. Well, I made it in. Crawling through the window here. I guess they don't. I guess they try to keep people out of here, but there's no signs that say no trespassing. So we're just gonna explore a little bit in here. See what's all in here. Some steps that go up. Old radiators. Block that. Put stone across that window. This is like the kitchen. Linoleum on the floor. Oh, bathroom. The cabinets back there. And there's still a toilet in here. And a sink. Not strong. This floor looks pretty awful. back out of here. Let's see if we can go upstairs. I feel secure yet. Tons of graffiti up here. This floor looks a little ripped out. I guess someone ripped all the copper wire out of here. It's just two bedrooms up here. I don't think I'm gonna go walk out there though. Well, let's see. Maybe I will. Yeah, hey, they're solid. Yeah, it's still upstairs here. What I do see is stairs to the attic over here. That's what I was looking for. So let's see what this is like. Yeah, these steps are a little funky. Oh yeah. Here's the attic. It's still pretty solid up here though. All right, let's 
make our way back down. Maybe go in the basement, huh? I think I'll go down into the basement, yeah. Let's see what's down like. We'll see what's down there. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of teenagers come here, put a lot of graffiti up. All right, so here we are back. And we're gonna go down into the basement. See what's down here. Oh man. Lots of trash. Eh, still copper wire down here. Surprised about that, they haven't ripped all that out. like the old furnace or coal stove or something. Got some little room over in here. Cool. All right. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed that a little bit. I know I wasn't planning on coming in here. I didn't know this was here, so it's just kind of a spur of the moment thing to explore this neat little spot. All right. So I'm going to do what I originally came here to do and hike the trails and check out some quarries back here. All right, a cool little side, cool little side uh, distraction here. Yeah, so apparently this is an old highway. Highway 82, the guy said. I guess the parts of it collapsed. And then PennDOT, the Pennsylvania Department of uh, Transportation, never fixed it. They kept saying they would and they didn't, so they just uh, closed the road and turned this place into a park. So, it's a pretty large park too. I'm not gonna explore the whole area. I just wanna go check out where the quarry is. I guess they do, like I said, they do a lot of rock climbing in there. There's supposed to be a lot of people back there, so it might be kind of interesting to see what's back here. Yeah, so just keep walking along here. Apparently there's some kind of a competition going on or something. There's people running back this way. So I don't know if they were, I think it says some kind of orienteering, orienteering course and they're having to run back and there's a finish spot at the back there, back where I parked. So I don't know what's going on here, but I passed quite a few people that have been huffing and puffing and red in the face. Okay, here's where the bridge is out and you have the, one of these cable bridges you have to use to cross the stream. There was one at the beginning of the trail. I didn't get a, I didn't get a video of that one. But yeah, you got to cross on this cable thing. Check this out. There's another abandoned building up here. Well, well, I didn't know there's gonna be so many abandoned buildings. But let's check this one out too. Looks like it's just a series of. Uh, open bays here with tons of graffiti. I don't know if you can get upstairs or not. Alright. Enough of this place. Well, this looks like the trail to the quarry because you got some got a map here and it got some I got some stone walls so I think I'm going in the right direction here. I got a map from the from the guy at the beginning but it's almost too there's almost too much detail on it. Got a little confusing. But I think I see oh yeah I see people down here rock climbing so I'm on the right spot. Uh, yeah, we're definitely in a quarry, and there, down there's the water. Caution, climbers below, do not throw rocks. <laughs> There's the quarry. 
the other wall. Looks like there's more trails to explore. So I think we'll do that. So yeah, this is a very popular place for rock climbing. If you're into that. Cool. Yeah, these walls get pretty tall. Yeah. No thank you. <laughs> wow. I guess I could do it. I went rappelling once when I was in a junior high where they put the the harness on you and you have to like go to the edge of the cliff and like back down out of the cliff and like let yourself down. I didn't think I was gonna be able to do it, but I don't know what came over me. I was able to do it because I don't heights are not my thing. I was watching everybody else do it in my class and I was like, I, I don't know, but I did it then. But wow, that's that's high up. That's quite a climb. Oh. Yeah, so even if you're not into rock climbing, this is not a bad little place to come and hang out. Just sit here at this little spot, have some lunch. It's kind of cool little spot. Got the rock wall behind me. The lake down there. I got this nice little seating area here. It's cool. Yeah, so I'm gonna walk around a little bit more. The trail goes on a little bit more that way, just see what's here. There's a lot more to this place. Like I said, this is called Birdsboro Waters or Birdsboro Preserve. But uh, I think when I'm done here, I'm gonna go home. It's just very muggy today, and there's supposed to be like 60% chance of thunderstorms. So, probably just head on out of here when I'm done. Here, cool spot though. Yeah, wow. Oh, and you can see all the little, uh, those little loop things they use to strap their, uh, you know, harnesses to and stuff all up along the wall. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going this way. Let's see what's on down here. Here we got some crude steps down to the lower level, I guess. Oh, and they are crude. Well, I think I'm gonna start making my way back. There's just a lot more uh, climbing spots here and whatnot. Apparently there's a gun range here too. Down here, there's, there's the targets that they shoot at down there from out there somewhere. So, yeah, so if you are into rock climbing, this is the place to come to. Um, lots, tons of places all along these cliff quarry walls. It's kind of a neat place to explore too. But I'm gonna head back. It's terribly muggy out here. So, and this is what I came to see was the quarry. So I've seen that. Plus, I got this. I wasn't expecting to see the that abandoned house and some other things. That was cool. Made for a cool adventure. I've never been here before. Maybe, like I said, maybe I'll come back someday because I know there's tons of trails elsewhere. But today is just uh, it's like walking through soup. The humidity. So, and I've been out for quite a while. So I'm done for the day. I think I'm gonna make my way back go home and eat some ice cream all right i'll see you around